So, last night was uh, chill for us. <laughs> Our um, seven scope did us right and um, held nice and tight. I had our tracker on to see our movement and it was just like we barely moved back and forth at all. Even our like jury rigged stern anchor setup that we did before we Camille had retrieved our proper stern anchor held just fine. Um, the large power yacht next to us, Jim and I, um, they popped their stern anchor and came within a few feet of us but they were on the case instantly. Uh, there was like a large, large swell that came tearing through the anchorage at midnight that must have been six foot swell because we were regularly having four foot swells and this was like, our boat went like, boom. So that was, um, I woke up at that point and hopped up on deck and then there was a lot of commotion starting on their boat because that's obviously when they popped their stern anchor because they just started coming straight towards us but they handled it beautifully like they were on the case and um, they had like stern thrusters so they just kept the boat off of us while they uh dealt with their their ground tackle which there was this other guy had come and anchored the other day and he anchored right on top of us and i was like what are you doing dude you can't anchor there and he had laid his anchor across their stern line. So when they were trying to retrieve their stern anchor, it got completely caught up in his ground tackle. And there was like, yeah, it was absurd. Um, but they got it free without like, you know, um, popping his anchor, which is kind of amazing. And uh, then they, they pulled their stern anchor way out far and um, got their boat moved so that we weren't so close pretty big rollers kind of all night long last night but um our tracker showed us like we stayed in the same spot the whole night which is good um and uh oh another thing too right right when all that happened there was another boat that was anchored a small power boat fishing boat that was anchored very close to shore <clears throat> with no stern anchor and when that big wave hit and I popped out. That dude like hauled up and just gunned it. He just got out of here. Um, so, but it seems like after that, everything mellowed out. We're at, at very low tide right now. And when I popped my head out, I was like, oh my gosh, we're close to the rocks. And we're not actually close to, closer to the rocks. It's just, we can see the rocks that we're close to now. Um, but yeah, eventful night. So, getting ready to go on a hike. We plan on hiking out on this ridge we'll show you. There's Shoitea. Anchorage is emptying out, which is cool. Um, it's nice out. I don't know what the temperature is. Probably 72 degrees or something. Light breeze. We're gonna go for a long hike. Stretch our legs, get off the wiggly boat. So, yeah, stoked, right? Should be nice. Bison tracks. Back up. Very easy hike out to this point. 
I'm not sure what this point is. Um, if I see it on the chart, I'll put it on the screen right now. But yeah, if you're anchored at Little Harbor, you should definitely make this hike because it's it's a beautiful view of the Shark Lagoon and uh, Little Harbor. It's gorgeous. And then if you look over here, go over there. That's um, Cat Harbor. One of the uh, Catalina Conservancy members stopped in his truck and told us there's a waterfall and stuff. So we're gonna go see if we can find it. Massive kelp forest. Be good diving. Pretty clear right there. <laughs> awesome. Wow. Dude. Oh yeah, how clear that is, until the dog walks through. Dragonflies. Little beetle guys. Beetle dogs. Steady dogs. Oh yeah, tadpoles right here. There are some big tadpoles in there. Big ones? Uh -huh. Oh, there's a baby frog. Little bitty frog. Look at all the driftwood. Oh, wow. More cattails. Come on. Come on. 
Go that way. Go that way. <laughs> oh, slippery. Oh, gross. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> oh, they're stepping on something. Gross. Highly magical. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's nice once you get used to it. I know, right? So if you ever anchor at Little Harbor, definitely make this little hike over to this lagoon. Yeah, it's really easy. Yeah, it's um, right before Cottonwood Beach. There's a little super path Super rewarding. Down. <laughs> it's so cool. There was a group of like six people. We thought we were going to be over here, but they ended up on the beach. So we heard and came back and got in. It's magical. Amazing. You got to do it. Back to Little Harbor. That was an amazing hike. Super easy. Not strenuous. It was that Rad Lagoon, which I'm really grateful. I think we'd have found it anyway, but the guy in the, from the Nature Conservancy, the Catalina Nature Conservancy, stopped in his truck and told us it was there and to check it out. So cool. Now it's time to get back to the boat and eat some lunch.
us we're gonna stay here another night and um, tomorrow morning Camille and Sidney will hike over to Catalina Harbor and um, I will do a slow sail over there and uh, then we'll be at Catalina Harbor a couple days maybe I think tomorrow's Monday we'll probably be there Monday night Tuesday night and Wednesday night and then sail around to the front side of the island on Thursday Bring me out, it's dinner time. What's Daddy having? He decided he hated the food that I bought him and has been on the food strike. So, because we're hiking tomorrow, I'm giving in and he's eating tuna and crackers and an egg. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's ready. That's a good, good dinner. What are we having? We're having chili that I made. Today was awesome. So yeah, nice to have the anchorage finally emptied out. Not worried about someone dragging into us tonight. Hopefully I can sleep sounder than I have the last couple of nights. It's also way more chill. Like you can already see now that the visibility has gotten better and the waves are much like the swell is just much smaller. Yeah, and someone on Instagram sent us a um, link to a story about I guess yesterday there was such a gnarly surge that in Newport Beach the streets flooded. We didn't have enough service for me to read the article because there's like no service here, but so. Which we felt that here. There was a gnarly surge and yeah, swell it here. It was crazy. So. Look at this motherfucker. Oh, look at that. So swell. He has not, like, really eaten in two days. Alright, time to eat dinner. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please give us a like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. It helps us a lot. Thanks again to all of our patrons. Your contributions help us get the boat ready for big things. Until next time.